Did you know that since 1988, about 70% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions have come from just 100 companies? Most of these companies make oil, gas, and coal. Today, we're going to talk about the fossil fuel industry's secret plan to destroy the planet. Let's get started. Resistance to change, profit over planet. Okay, let's talk about change and, more specifically, why oil companies are so opposed to it. I mean, give it some thought. We have clear proof that our reliance on fossil fuels is hurting our planet in a big way. Scientists from all over the world are sounding the alarm, telling us of rising temperatures, melting ice caps, and more extreme weather events. So, why aren't these businesses moving quickly to change gears? Well, the saying, money makes the world go round, gives us a hint about what's going on here. The fossil fuel industry has been a money-making machine for over a century. People, we're talking about huge profits. And switching to a more sustainable plan would mean upsetting a system that has made them a lot of money. The business is set up to get as much oil, gas, and coal as possible to sell on the market. Because of this, the need to make money is often more important than the health of our world. This is the main problem. These companies are part of an old system that puts money before the environment. Now, it's easy to point and say, these people are the bad guys. But let's not forget that these fossil fuels have also been important to the world economy. Breaking free of this dependence and switching to cleaner, renewable energy is the real task. It won't be easy, and we'll have to do it if we care about the future of our world. And that's why it's so important to figure out why people don't want to change. By figuring out what the problem is, we can start to find answers and work for a greener, more sustainable future. Environmental impact, not just carbon emissions. We've talked about why fossil fuel companies don't want to change, but what are the real results of their actions? When we talk about fossil fuels, it's easy to think about carbon emissions and climate change, though fossil fuels have a much bigger effect on the environment than that. Think about the direct effects of getting fossil fuels. Have you ever seen pictures of animals covered in black tar after an oil spill? They look like they can't do anything. Oil spills are a sad example of how the search for fossil fuels can hurt the environment in terrible ways. They can destroy whole ecosystems, which can wipe out wildlife and hurt the people who live in the area because they depend on these ecosystems. And it's not just oil. In coal mining, for example, a process called mountaintop removal is often used. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's not just a cute name for a safe process. Mountains are wiped out, habitats are ruined, and water sources are made dirty. These are the bad things that happen when we try to use fossil fuels. Don't forget about fracking, which is a way to get natural gas that has been linked to earthquakes and dirty water. The process is controversial, and for good reason. See, it's not just about carbon output. The fossil fuel business has a wide range of effects on the world. Our environment suffers. Our animals are in trouble. And in the end, we people also suffer. When we know about all these effects, we have even more reason to try to move away from fossil fuels and toward more renewable energy sources. Time is running out, and every second counts. Before we continue our video, please take a moment to click the like button if you like this kind of content, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting talks. Let's get started. Health hazards, pollution, and its consequences. We don't just talk about the environment when we talk about fossil fuels. It's also about us. I mean, this is where we live, right? So let's be honest about what the smog and fossil fuel mean for our health. You've probably seen pictures of towns with so much pollution in the air that it's hard to see the buildings or even breathe. This isn't some vague idea. It's the reality for millions of people who live in places with a lot of industry. And what about health? Well, they're just as bad as you might think. We're talking about things like asthma, lung disease, and other long-term diseases that affect the lungs. According to the World Health Organization, millions of people die too soon each year because of air pollution. Heart disease, stroke, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and lung cancer are the main causes of these deaths. Children are especially likely to get sick from breathing dirty air. Their lungs are still growing, and being around pollution can hurt them in the long run. And for those of us with older family members, it's important to know that air pollution is also very bad for them. Here's the thing though, this isn't just the price of success. This is what it costs to keep using old, damaging energy sources when there are better, cleaner ones available. That's why pushing for the end of fossil fuels isn't just about saving the world, it's also about saving ourselves. It's important for the health of the people, and it's a fight worth having. Unequal burden. Vulnerable communities suffer most. Environmental justice is a word I'd like you to think about. Know about it? It's the idea that everyone should share the environmental costs and benefits equally, no matter their race, country, income, or anything else. 
But if we look at the fossil fuel business, we can see that this isn't happening at all. You see, the worst effects of what the fossil fuel business does are often felt in the most vulnerable places. Let's paint a picture. Imagine living in a neighborhood where the air always smells like sulfur because an oil plant is right next door. Your kids can't play outside without coughing, and there are a lot of lung diseases in your area. This isn't dystopian fiction. This is the hard truth for many low-income and minority groups, which are often close to places where fossil fuels are made. They are the ones who get sick the most quickly and badly from the air and water pollution. Then there's the imbalance around the world. Even though they contribute the least to global warming, developing countries are getting hit the hardest by climate change. This includes things like rising sea levels, droughts, and extreme weather events. The truth is that our reliance on fossil fuels isn't just bad for the environment. It also makes social and economic differences worse. It's a heavy load, and not everyone has to carry it. As we work toward a better, more fair energy future, we need to think about this. False solutions, greenwashing tactics. Okay, let's talk about something that really bothers us, greenwashing. Greenwashing is when companies spend more time and money on marketing and public relations stunts to make it look like they are green than they do on putting in place practices that are better for the environment. What about the fossil fuel business? So, they've done this before. You've probably already seen the ads. There are wide shots of wind turbines or solar panels in the background, while smiling workers in hard hats talk about how their oil company is committed to a clean energy future. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, not quite yet. Most of the time, these ads don't show what these companies are really up to. Even though they may spend a small amount of their budget on green energy, their main focus is still on getting, refining, and selling fossil fuels. It's like trying to put out a fire while dumping gasoline on it with a water pistol. Also, many of these companies work against policies that are good for the environment behind closed doors, even though they talk a lot about their green efforts in public. It's a perfect example of how deeds speak louder than words. So, don't let the green shine fool you. It's important to look behind the scenes, figure out what's really going on, and push these companies to make real changes, not just well-made ads. We need real change, and we need it fast not just false answers. Urgent transition, the need for renewable energy. Now it's time to turn the page and talk about something more hopeful, green energy. It's the light at the end of the tunnel for fossil fuels. We've talked about how bad the fossil fuel business is, but there is a better way to move forward, and it's not a dream from the far future. Here it is, right now. It's energy that can be used again and again. Solar, wind, geothermal, and hydropower energy are not just the energy sources of the future. They are also the energy sources of today. Just think, the sun and the wind are free, and there's a lot of them. They don't release carbon into the air. They do not leak oil or produce smog, and there is always enough. So they are called renewables. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.